Good afternoon, Southern Soul Tarot family. Um, we are going to be doing a reading today on the murder of 10-year-old Victoria Martin. Now, um, there were three people involved. Uh, she was, and this was an, she was murdered or um, it was discovered on August 23rd of 2016. So, um, she was dismembered. She was set on fire. And this was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Her body parts were put in different in different trash bags spread out around the apartment. Now, her mother is Michelle Martins. The boyfriend was Fabian Gonzalez, and his cousin had ended up coming to stay with them, and her name is Jessica Kelly, who had been released from jail and had a very um, violent criminal record. So, um, whenever, you know, um, they obviously, you know, it was... They took the, the three of them in immediately and ended up charging them with child abuse, murder, and sexual penetration of a minor. Now, um, Martin's uh, mother said that Fabian and Jessica had given Victoria methamphetamines to calm her down so that they could have sex with her. Um, but the community even had asked for the death penalty be, to be brought back for this particular case because they were so enraged with what happened but they found out later from the autopsy that she was actually strangled to death and there was no mess meth in her system at all so she had given a false confession so therefore those charges ended up getting dropped because of the situation um of she didn't die the way the mother confessed that she did so um the last, though, known whereabouts of Victoria on August 23rd, like I said, of 2016, as I want to say, she went to the gas station with Fabian. They said she came back and left, and they had, and Fabian and Michelle had left uh, Victoria with Jessica Kelly. Now, um, Jessica Kelly claims that a man, that she was in her room with her door open, and that a man literally came in and murdered Victoria, and um, Kelly states that... Um, yeah, that's basically her statement. She said a man basically came in, murdered her, and left. And that's, and I guess, I'm guessing she stood there. I don't know what she said she did. But um, she has a long, again, a long, violent criminal history. So um, Jessica and Fabian later said that they kind of tried to, to distract Michelle, I guess, from what was going on, that, that Victoria was already dead. But but um, I don't know how they were able to do that for as long as they did because by while they were distracting her, they were were supposed to be distracting her. They were actually chopping up Victoria's body, placing it in bags, and then burning it. So, um, but there was also male DNA found um, during the autopsy. Uh, well, partial DNA was found of another male um, sent on Victoria's back. So, since Jessica Kelly claimed another man came in. That's also the reason the, sh the charges got dropped for the false confession and because there was another partial um, DNA sample from a male, but it was not um, it was not Fabian's and it was not um, anybody that like a first responder, anybody that had been at the scene. So they don't. It was an unknown male. So uh, Michelle Martins on June 2018 pleaded guilty to one count of child abuse, ending in death, and that that it carries up to 15 years in prison. Um, she had met Fabian on a website. He had he had a very extensive record, from what I understand, and she had moved him in very quickly to stay with her. And uh, late, then later, Martin's uh, had, you know, Kelly uh, Jessica Kelly was released from jail, and that was his cousin. So he had went ahead and moved her in there with them. And again, you know, Michelle Martin's kind of just let it happen. So Jessica Kelly on January of twenty nineteen. She pleaded no contest to dismembering dismembering and burning a corpse, child abuse resulting in death, and that results up to 50 years in prison. So Fabian said, um, I'm just upset that they let her even take that that one, which would be the plea. Um, they should have, it, as because Jessica Kelly said she'd testify, so that's what, he, that's what he was referring to. He'd testify against the other, she'd testify against the other ones. Um, and then he said they should have served justice to, and took her to trial and found her guilty for what, the F she did. So he's basically making it sound like Jessica was the main one that killed her is what he's making it sound like because he's already in jail. That was a jail record, recorded phone call where he made that statement, which I also found it was interesting too, because this, when I was looking at the 50 years in prison, that's considered a life sentence. Um, instead, I, I guess like in New Mexico, cause they said the life sentence in New Mexico only carries 30 years. So they said that's like their, 
like top sentence, like, I guess because they don't have a death penalty, but I, I've never heard of, um, this is the first case where I've heard that a life sentence in New Mexico only carries 30 years. So that was pretty interesting to me. Um, like I said, it's not major to the case, but I, I, you know, thought that was interesting. Um, they wouldn't just give them life if there was no death penalties. Um, but Fabian Gonzalez was later, tam uh, was later, uh, charged with tampering with evidence, child abuse resulting in death, but he was released on November of 2019 on awaiting the trial. So he is appealing, um, them trying to bring up his past records. So the school, her school did make a memorial bench for her in her name. And on August 2019, uh, the memorial service for her, um, what would have been her 13th birthday, um, they went ahead and held the memorial service at the school for her. Like I said, again, it was on it was in August of 2019, and that would have been her 13th birthday. So um, the case is still open. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get her to come in and kind of let us know what was going on and what led up to it, who was the major key players and why, and um, anything else that she would like to get across. So we're actually going to ask basically for um, Victoria Spirit Guides to come in along with Michelle's. Jessica's, Fabian's, and mine. We're going to combine all of our spirits guides together to get a better in reading and a clearer reading um, on what exactly happened because, again, it's still an open case. And um, from what I understand, like I said, it is very, um, the city that it happened in, which was Albuquerque, New Mexico, they're very upset about it. And like I said, that even, like I said, to the point where they were asking for the death penalty to be brought back. So um, we're going to ask what happened that day. Leading up to it, what happened the day of, and how she feels now. So we're going to ask for Archangel um, Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael to come in and go ahead and see if they can and come in with Source as well. And any other ancestors or spirit guides that can help give us a better and clearer reading as to what happened to Victoria Martins. Because again, she was murdered in a very brutal way. She was dismembered and then put into trash bags, spread around the apartment, and they were set on fire. And she was 10 years old. Um, so we're going to, like I said, again, I'm going to shuffle one more time and then we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. So I want to thank you, Southern Soul Tarot T family for joining me. Um, so I, uh, if you have not subscribed yet and you, um, enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you uh, hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell. And then in the future, I also do lives every now and then and do readings at special prices. And then I also have reading all my information in my about section about readings if you're interested in getting one for yourself. So we're going to ask Victoria what was happening the days leading up to her murder. She is saying something wanted to move forward. So here's the six of swords. It is moving forward. The, the boat is, um, you know, it's moving in calm waters, but it's, it's kind of leaving. She's like, kind of like she's leaving in the middle of the night. So um, I don't know if they murdered her at night or what exactly happened but um someone was trying to move forward the day of or the day leading days leading up to it so why is the six of swords here because the queen of wands of swords is here so the queen of swords is here in reverse which is a very brutal energy for the queen of swords when she turns in reverse because she is the off with your head queen Again, unfortunately, you know, Victoria was dismembered and uh, here is a sword, which is something, you know, that you would obviously use to do such a thing. So that's what I'm saying. Like, um, she plays with minds. She's, she can be very manipulative because she is good at playing with minds. That's why the, the swords represent thoughts and, um, and, you know, an, any analytical, you know, thinking, things like that. And just, like I said, just manipulation with the mind. So they're very good at that. So somebody, and this is two air signs now, like I guess because there's swords here, and this, again, is swords. So this is going to be Aries. I mean, I'm sorry, not Aries. Um, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, the queen of swords in reverse. So that is the sign that it, that represents. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. So we're going to go ahead and see why the queen of swords is here in reverse and who she is. She found it as a brand new opportunity. She felt that, um, that or somebody felt out of the three of them that they were offered a, an opportunity or um, a, to do a, or have a brand new start or action to something. Or they thought that they were starting a brand new action to something, but they did have the idea to do it. So I don't think it was an accident, as they claimed. Um, 
So let's see what happened the day of your murder. That's too many, baby. Just like one or two, please. Can you tell me what happened that when you got off the bus, Victoria? What happened after that, please? She is saying that they were coming out of the lying, chilling, cheating, stealing, and manipulating stage. So when it's upright, they're still doing it very much heavily. Um, but this is when they're already putting their plan into motion. So they went ahead and released that energy. And they are, because they were already, again, here's more swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So now we have um, four, three swords on the board out of the four cards. So again, like I said, that morning... Uh, or that afternoon when she got home from school, like I said, the plan was already in place. They were already um, using methamphetamine, so they were already not in the right mind. So they were already decided to go ahead and go with the idea they had over here with the Ace of Wands. So let's see um, why. Why is the, the uh, Seven of Swords here in reverse, Victoria? Because they ended the cycle of her life. Of They ended her cycle. Um it's kind of like the same in the sense of the death card a bit because it's the ending of um, a life cycle. But um, again, the sun also on other cards, it, it also has a child on it. And Vic again, Victoria was only 10. So she is saying that they, and, and this is why I think she brought this one out instead of the death card in reverse because she is showing that not only did she lose her life and the cycle ended, but she was a child when it happened. So, and that represents Leo. And Leo, like I said, it represents, you know, there's a child on the card. So, um, on some of the other decks. So, we're going to go ahead and see why the sun is in reverse for Victoria. Can you tell me why the sun's in reverse, baby? Because she feels like they took away her, and they did. They took away her earthly um, opportunity. She was very young. She still had much growing to do, to grow into her own and become something with the Ace of Pentacles. And so she is saying, and again, it says her birthday was August 2019. I'm not exactly sure of the exact date of her birthday, but I do know August is a, a Virgo, too, because I am a Virgo. Mine's August 24th. So I don't know if she was a Virgo or not, but she's basically saying regardless of her birth, of whatever sign she was, the reason that the sun is in reverse is because she knows with them doing what they did, they took away her earthly opportunity to grow into something and into her own. So let's see else how she feels now. How do you feel now, baby? She is finally coming out of the Three of Swords. So she is, um, it's been three years. Um, well, almost four now. So, um, yeah, she has, in that time, she's had a lot of time to heal. And, they, and there's three here, which three of them were involved. So she is showing that they no longer control how she feels where she is. So she is no longer brokenhearted about it. Um, how else do you feel about them and them awaiting trial and if anything about that? Can you tell us how you feel about them and where you are? Can you tell us anything about them or where you are? She is saying she also no longer loses sleep or anxiety or has any depression because, like I said, here you can see when it's upright. It's almost like this person is being haunted by this ghost in the background. So they're losing sleep and anxiety over it. And they have depression and they're, they're just stuck in their thoughts. But now, again, and I said it again, it's another sword sign. So here's two sword signs coming out for how she feels in the afterlife. So there's very, there's a lot of air here. So um, somebody has to have air in their chart. Or maybe, you know, because I said they said her birthday was in August. But I, like I said, again, there's a lot of air on the board. But she is saying that she's coming out of anxiety um, and the depression and the mental, you know, um, anguish that they caused her by taking her life the way that they did dismembering her and burning her so can you tell us anything else about how you feel where you are she has moved on with the nine of cup or the eight of cups i'm sorry she's moved forward and she has moved on from the situation with them she no longer it no longer affects her where she is um i kind of feel like she might have already reincarnated because she's had four years and that's a, a good amount of time to heal so i feel like she might have already reincarnated to get a new start because that's why this card I think is here too. It's a, it's a brand new start within the earthly realm. So let's go ahead and use the mermaid um, tarot by Lisa Robertson to go ahead and clarify. And again, I want to thank uh, Maya's tarot, which is spelled M-A-I-J-A-S and then tarot. Listen, if y'all haven't checked her channel out yet, please do. She went ahead and 
gifted uh, Southern Soul Tarot Tea, this lovely deck. So we get, again want to thank her. So again, if you haven't checked out Maya's Tarot, M-A-I-J-A-S, then um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. And go ahead and um, hit the subscribe bell, the notification bell, or the subscribe bar and the notification bell. I'm sure she would greatly appreciate it, as would I. So, um, and again, thank you for the Mermaid Tarot, uh, Maya. So we're going to go ahead and use this deck that you gifted us to go ahead and clarify this reading for Victoria. So, um, why is the Six of Swords here for the day and th that this happened and how you feel about who is feeling Six of Swords and why? The Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, I, I feel, um, she wanted to get away from them, to be honest, I I feel like, as I, I don't know her exact birthday, but it said her birthday's in August. So I'm feeling like she's the earth sign. Because she's right here and she's right here. And she's in reverse. So she's not happy about the decision they made to move forward with the queen of wands in reverse and the ace of, uh, of, of wands. Or the queen of, yeah. The queen of swords in reverse and the ace of wands. So let's see why the queen of swords is in reverse. Or how, like, who is that and why are they here? Who is the eight, the Queen of Swords and why is she here? Because she came in with the Two of Swords and she was ha trying to have them make a decision. So um, this I think this is kind of Jessica Kelly and in, in, um, Fabian, to be honest. I don't think the mother... I think she knew about it. I just think she didn't care what they did. You know what I mean? Like, I think she she just didn't want the burden of taking care of the child anymore. And she, she was they were taking methamphetamine. So I think she just started getting to a point where she was just like, eh, do what you want, you know? And that's why, because she even said, I mean, in her confession, that she, she basically let them give her own daughter methamphetamine to take advantage of her. That was her confession, even though it was a lie. But she's basically admitting that she was letting them do that kind of stuff to her daughter. So I think this is... Um, her coming in, Kelly coming in, uh, Jessica Kelly coming in and making this 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 decision to murder Victoria or to not with Fabian. So why is the Ace of Wands here? Because the King of Pentacles is here now. So now we have a pair. So yes, I think the um, Ace of Wands is here because the King of Pentacles is, um, I think this is Fabian's energy. I don't know, again, his birthday, but I think that it was also, he's the one that was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it and get it done. You know, let's get her out the way. So I think that's why he was so upset that Jessica was given a deal because they both agreed to do it. And so he feels like she shouldn't have got the deal that he, sh that she should be getting the, the, going to the same, getting the same, like going to trial. And, and I mean, I mean, if life sentence in, in New Mexico is 30 years, she got 50. I mean, she basically ain't never leaving prison. I mean, and if they don't have the death penalty, I mean, he would, I guess, get 30 years, which is considered life there. So, I mean, they both pretty much got life, but I just think he doesn't like that she got to, is getting to testify against them. And, and I don't know. He basically didn't like that she ratted, is what I think. So, why is the Seven of Swords here for the day that they uh, murdered you? Can you please tell us why the Seven of Swords is here for in reverse? That's too many, baby. I just need one. So can you um, please tell us why uh, the Seven of Swords is here in reverse for the day that you were murdered? Because of temperance. Because uh, they were ready to, they could not temperance their emotions and their um, actions. So they went ahead and followed through with their plan because, they, like I said, again, they were making a decision between these two things that involved their emotions and their actions. And they decided to go ahead and not temperance it, and they went ahead and took her life because that was more important to them. Getting her out of the way to have more drug money and, to, and not have to watch a child. So that's basically what they did. And that is what she's saying. Like, she's saying that. It was, it was for something that stupid. Like, they basically just wanted to have drug money and freedom of a child from the child. So, um, why is the sun here in reverse, Victoria? Can you tell me why the sun is here in reverse? Because it's, they took away her childhood. This is the Six of Cups. So, this represents childhood. This is represent. that's why they're younger, looking, the mermaids. They're children having a great time. And, um, 
she is saying that with the sun in reverse, they took that from her. And that's why um, she's not happy about it. And they also took the opportunity she had still coming to her within the earthly realm. So, um, yes, she was very, she's very upset with what they did. She's, she's gotten past it. But in the beginning, she was more upset than anything. Like, like she was hurt, but she was upset that they took her life because she was old enough to understand at 10 years old. So, um, what is the Ace of Pentacles here for? What, can you tell me why the Ace of Pentacles is here? It's too many, baby. Just like one or two. Can you tell me why the Ace of Pentacles is here? Because of the King of Cups. So, she, yeah, she is saying basically, um, I think, again, this is, you know, saying one of their energies came in and they felt like they wanted to get their way emotionally. This represents the water sign. Um Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, but they're basically saying they wanted to get their way, so by taking her out of the picture, by, by removing her opportunity in this earthly realm, then they could go ahead and do as they pleased. And they would be emotionally fulfilled by it. So that's all they were worrying about was themselves. So that's what she's saying. So why, um, you said you have the Three of Swords reversed now, that they're no longer, it's no longer broke your heart. How do you feel about the, that, that also? She is saying that she knows that they ruined the Ten of Cups happy home, but I kind of feel like it was never as happy as it should have been. Um, I don't know how long if her mother just started doing meth and doing things like that when she met Fabian or if she was doing it before, but I kind of get the feeling like she's saying like it was never that great to begin with, to be honest. And that's why I think maybe she came out of it a bit quicker. I think I, I almost feel like her five D her five D soul kind of is like, well, with the way that the the kind of people they were and the things that they did, it was inevitable something was gonna happen to me, you know. So, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said I feel like she's more angry, or hurt than like sad and hurt. She's like angry and hurt, but she's not sad. She's like, she's more upset that like I said that, that they took her opportunity away. I, I kind of feel like she wished that they would have just given her to some like given her to a family that would have taken care of her. Is kind of what I hear. Like why didn't you just give me to somebody who would have wanted me instead of doing what you did? Yeah, and now the pinnacles, ten of pinnacles is in reverse for um, coming out of anxiety and coming out of depression. Like I said, we have the nine of swords here, so she was coming out of anxiety, depression, and being stuck in her thoughts. And then she's saying the reason why, again, is because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Now, this, again, also kind of represents the Ten of Cups in reverse. So either way, it, it is saying that there is no abundance in either situation, emotionally or financially. Let me see, make sure you can see them both together. So she's saying emotionally and financially, where she lived with her mother, she never had the emotions that she should have been given, and she was never taken care of the way she should have been taken care of. That's exactly what she's saying. So that's why she walk, walked away from it quickly and she went ahead and reincarnated. She reincarnated into a, a better situation that she wanted, that she felt was more fair. And then walking away, the reason she's walking away is because, she, again, she is, she is reincarnated. She has reincarnated. So she is the page of cups, which means she's back into her childhood. She's a went ahead... She's uh, made the offer, and then she's accepted it. So now she has uh, transitioned into a new life. So she is, I feel she has reincarnated because also the um, Page of Wands is here, which represents a child again. So here's two pages. So um, I think she's just telling us, you know, I, I was ready to reincarnate and start over because I was not done yet. So I was emotional about it. I went ahead and did my healing, and then now I'm ready to start. I run ahead and, and reincarnated and I had the idea to do it. I had the help spiritually, so I went ahead and took the opportunity. So she is doing very well where she is. Um, how do you feel about their court case coming up? How do you feel about their court case coming up? She feels the two of cups in reverse for the court case coming up. So I think she feels that there is going to be no victory, at least um we already know one of them is going to testify against the other two. So at least the couple, her mother and Fabian, they will no longer have any happiness. Even though Jessica seems to be a big player in this, she's more, it, so right now she's more saying she's happy that her mom and Fabian are in jail. What about Jessica? What do you think about Jessica? 
She thinks that she is the king of wands in reverse, which would be very much true to the fact that um, when they're in reverse, they're very um, aggressive and they're and they like to fight. And they like I said, this represents a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, and they can be very scrappy and they will take low blows. So that is what she's saying about Jessica. And she said Jessica would make her feel seven of swords. So Jessica made, I think when Jessica came in is when they started plotting to kill Victoria. So that's how she feels about Jessica. So yes, she is saying that Jessica is the main one who thought it would be a great idea and was the one that kind of started the beating on her. I think they started beating on her and then it eventually led up to her murder. I don't know how long Jessica was staying there before it act, she was actually murdered, um, but I know she was there long enough. So that's what I'm saying. So I think she started kind of mistreating the girl, and they just kind of, like I said, they were high, so they just kind of jumped in on it. And then the last thing she has to say about them is that she um, is no longer, she has put down the five of wands with them, so she doesn't care what happens to them. She doesn't care if they bicker and fight and, you know, tear each other apart. You know, she, like she could care less. She's done with them, and she's moved on, and, and the bickering and fighting is done for her. So she does, wants nothing to do with the situation anymore. Like I said, she's reincarnated into a new body, and she doesn't care what happens to them. So um, let's go ahead now, and we're going to get a life purpose uh, card and see what she would like to say about her life and how it went and why, or if any advice she would like to give to other people about life and what she learned while she was here. So, again, I want to thank you all for um, clicking on the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said, again, um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the Southern Soul Tarot Tea family, I'd greatly appreciate it if you do. Um, you can hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell, and it will let you know when I upload videos just like this. And then I also do readings like this in live time so that you can actually um, sometimes get a um, – I do specials for readings. And then when I do these in live time, you can actually ask questions, and I can answer you directly. <clears throat> so if you're interested in that, like I said, I'd greatly um, appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell and the like uh, button. And like I said, and then if you're interested in a reading like this again for yourself, all that's in my about section. So we're going to pull a life purpose card for Victoria and see what she has to say. And pull one more. Does she want to put out more? She is saying freedom and leadership. So freedom and leadership. You're free to do what you choose. And that's why I, I feel like she's already reincarnated and she has. She's 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 chose to yeah, and then, and then you have leadership, take charge of the situation. So yes, she has. She's she's reincarnated and she's and she's doing what she originally set out to do that they they basically took from her prematurely. I don't feel like it was supposed to be her original exit point. I do think it was a possibility that it was supposed to happen. But I don't think it sh it was the like it was the original like the main exit point of her life. I don't think that's what it was. I think that if Kelly probably well for one, if the mother would have never got started doing doing methamphetamines and then especially moving in people who were doing those type of things, you know that wouldn't have had like hope. You know, I would hope it wouldn't have still happened. But um, then not, you know moving in Jessica Kelly who had a criminal record and um, for being extremely violent and I mean. Not, that didn't help anything. So, like I said, I, I do feel like um, Jessica Kelly coming in with Fabian, you know, contributed to this exit point. Because you have about two to three exit points in your life. And you have one main one. Like I said, but I don't think this was her main exit point. So, I think that's why she was more angry than sad. Because she wasn't done yet. So, um, we'll have, is there anything else that you um, would like to tell us? Or... Um, or just how you feel, any advice for the us that you'd like to give us that you've learned from where you are? All right. There's something better. Yes, there is. And a year from now, there'll be a recovery. So... She's saying there's something better a year from now. I'll hold him so y'all can see him. There's something better. And that's going to be a year from now, she's saying, which is probably when the, the it's going to go to court. She said there will be a recovery during this time, so they will find out more. 
you know, I'm sure Jessica, like I said, because Jessica's already made a plea to talk. So I'm sure the story is going to come out more of what exactly happened. Um, and then she's saying, yes, it will. And she's actually balancing out these crystals, kind of like you would the scales, which are kind of like the um, justice card. Because this that represents the courts and it represents Libra. Gem- well, mainly Libra, justice does, but it's air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And again, the board is covered in swords. So they, she is saying, yes, they will be both, be, all three will go behind bars and all balance will be, bal- everything will be balanced out again once the court is done. So let's go ahead and get a guardian angel card for her. And then we will uh, do the single, and this will be the reading for the murder of 10-year-old Victoria Martin by her mother, her mother's boyfriend, and her mother, and the boyfriend's cousin, Jessica Kelly. So this, uh, again, it was August 23rd of... 2016 uh, that she was brutally murdered and again her name is Victoria Martin she was dismembered and set on fire and her body was put into numerous trash bags around the house that they set on fire and it happened in Albuquerque New Mexico the mother's name is Michelle Martins the boyfriend's name was Fabian Martin or is Fabian Martin and Ke- and the cousin of his is Ke- Jessica Kelly I said and she um she was strangled to death and it did not match up with the mother's confession because the mother said they had given her meth, um, the Kelly and Fabian, to have sex, to have, you know, intercourse with her. And um, when they did the autopsy, there was no meth in her system. She had just been strangled. So um, they're awaiting right now trial for, you know, child abuse resulting in death, dismemberment, things like that. Like, um, so... So, but one of them will be flipping on the other two. She already has. She's already made a deal. So I think she's going to tell more of her story once she comes, goes to court. She's already pleaded no contest. So um, we're going to get our last card. She is saying to nurture in uh, Claire Ognizance. So um, Archangel Gabriel, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. So... Both activates the importance for you right now. Now, I'm saying, I feel like she's saying, like I said, because she was 10 years old. So, there, she is saying they did not nurture her the way they should have. And she is saying that she just wants people to not only nurture their children, but nurture your inner child. And don't get wrapped up in stuff like her mother did that brought this kind of thing around. So, Archangel Uriel, uh, Uriel. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So she is, I think that's just her message to people. Um, is that, you know, pay, you know, pay attention to um, the little things around you because that's sometimes the answer to your prayers. And if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. So, um, again, this is going to be the, vict- the reading for the murder of 10-year-old Victoria Martins that happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She uh, was 10 years, like I said, again, she was 10 years old when it happened. It was on August 23rd of 2016. She was dismembered, set on fire, put into trash bags, and set, and set in different parts of the apartment. And then I guess they set the trash bags on fire. But the mother, Michelle Martins, the boyfriend, Fabian Gonzalez, and Jessica Kelly are all waiting trial for child abuse and, um, well, child neglect resulting in the death, uh, you know, ch- of child abuse resulting in death and then uh, the dismemberment and the burning of the body. So um, that is what they are waiting a trial for. So this is going to be the reading for Victoria Martin. And we're going to do the singing bowl real quick to knock out any negative energy and bring in any positive. That will be again the singing bowl for Victoria Martin. So I want to thank y'all again for joining me. Like I said, if y'all and if y'all haven't hit the subscribe bar and the notification bell yet, I'd greatly appreciate it if y'all do. Like I said I upload videos like this quite often, and then I do series with them too for some of the um, serial killers. So if y'all are interested in those, I do have some that are um, more set up like a series for certain people. So um, again, I want to thank y'all and I will see y'all soon again. So y'all have a great one, Southern Soul Tarot Tea family, and I will talk to y'all soon.